Hey, what's up YouTube? Thank you very much for clicking on my channel. This is Pills for Speed. Uh, it's been a little while since I've uploaded a video and a couple of reasons why, but uh, let's get you up to speed where we are on the SR. Okay, so as you know, I've had the engine fully rebuilt. So you could see on the previous vid where I took it to the machine shop. They fully built it from top to bottom. I'm talking cams, rods, pistons, springs, um, pretty much everything that you can think of has been done. Uh, brought the engine back, dropped it in, and it worked great. I mean, it ran a little bit rich, but I have a ROM tune on my ECU that I had for the previous setup, which the only difference is the size of the turbo. Um, and I could still run about 20 pounds. It'd be a little rich, but, but no big deal. So uh, it was running great. So I got it all put together, started putting some miles in it. Um, I believe I hit about over a thousand miles before I really started getting to the boost. Uh, I turned it up from 12 pounds up to 20 pounds. She ran great. Uh, one day I got into some donuts. I was bouncing off the rev limiter having heck of fun and The following day I started running like shit So pretty much what's going on is cylinder number two for whatever the reason is not firing So started going through the troubleshooting steps Of course a couple of weeks have to go by because right now I'm in the time where I'm working from night to night so uh, yeah, it's taking me some time and I'm the only one that gets to work on this pile of crap. So basically I started off with fuel. So uh, I run the 5.0 brand 750cc injectors. And um, like I said, the ECU is ROM tuned for that. And uh, I swapped it over since number two is the one not working. I put number four on number two, so on and so forth. Mixed them all the way around. Uh, that didn't solve anything. I even pulled the fuel roll out. I would prime the ignition system and you would literally see the injector spit a hefty amount of fuel healthily so I knew that it wasn't fuel. I even went above and beyond to put the stock injectors back on and see if that would correct the problem. Nothing. I even put the wiring harness that goes for all the injectors um, to the car's wiring harness. That didn't correct it. So I guess I figured I don't have a problem with fuel. Next they came over here to ignition um, running the split fire upgraded ignition system. Um, same thing with those. I swapped over the coil packs. That didn't do anything. I even put the stock coils on there. That didn't do anything. And I even put the stock coils wiring to the wiring harness. Uh, that didn't correct everything. Um, but when you pull out the coil pack with the injector connected or the uh, spark plug connected and you touch it somewhere, you'll see a good uh, spark come out. I even have the little machine that tests the ohm resistance, I believe. Touched it on there. They all run about the same. Uh, brand new spark plugs, gap them, everything as far as ignition, I also checked. I don't think the problem is coming from there with, unless I left out anything, let me know in the comments below. Uh, so last but not least, I went to your local parts store. I rented a compression tester. Now, one, either the compression tester was a little bit faulty or perhaps because I didn't warm up the engine prior, I didn't want to sit 15 minutes with it running on three cylinders. I mean, it just rocks everything. So I didn't do it with the engine heated up. I did it with the engine cold. All the compressions came out to be about a little bit over a hundred. Um, so, I mean, it's very, very low, but like I said, the engine was cold. Uh, maybe the compression tester wasn't the best, but the idea was that they were still within three to five pounds from each other. So with that being said, um, I did the dry test and the wet test. With the wet test, everything came out a lot higher towards around the 150s. So um, I do have compression on cylinder number two. That's, that's what I do know. So right now, that's where it's at. Um, basically, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is remove the intake, see if there's any debris. Other than that, um, it could be either the ECU or, the, in fact, the whole wire harness itself or maybe something on the valve train. So I took off the valve cover, looked at the springs, looked at the rocker arm. I mean, it's got stoppers and cranked over the engine manually and visually everything looks okay. So if you have any ideas to what it is that this thing can be going on, let me know in the comments below. Um, it's going to be about another month or so before I start working on this again. So let me know what you all think questions comments concerns i'd appreciate it we all know what it's like to drive one of these things and that's of course probably the reason for this all so thanks very much for clicking on my channel peace